Hello everyone, this is Walrus McFish Sr. and we're back with something a little bit different today. I thought we might try recording some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, which is a game I've been playing a lot of lately. Uh, this is a roguelike game, sort of in the style of other games like NetHack, for example, is a game I played a lot of back in the day. And uh, this is very similar, if you've never heard of that, uh, a roguelike is sort of like a strategic, tactical, uh, often fantasy-based game with uh, a simple graphical interface. You'll, you'll see how it is as we start to play. So let's get started. I mean, first things first. I could name my character, but I prefer to choose my class first. And you can see, yes, there's a number of fantastical classes to choose from. I, however, will be going with a vampire, because I have won this game six times now, but I have yet to win as sort of a um, stealth-based character. So I'm going to go with a Vampire Enchanter, which is indeed very stealth-based, sort of a uh, hex-based assassin character. And what is our name? Well, we need to pick a cool name. That's half this game, honestly, is picking a, uh, a lucky name. And I think Augustine is going to work. Augustine sounds like a good vampire enchanter to me, so we are Augustine the Vexing. And here we are, so if you've never seen uh, this game before, uh, this could look kind of crazy, but here's a brief rundown. Over here on the left, we've got the map. So this at symbol in the center here it symbolizes me. Uh, that dollar sign is money, that's water, there's floor and walls, that question mark is a scroll, the exclamation point is a potion and so on. You'll pick it up as we go. Uh, monsters are usually letters or symbols. And uh, over here on the right we sort of have the uh, status information area where we can see things like our health, our uh, money, uh, what we're wielding, our, our strength, intelligence, dexterity, and so on. And then down here at the bottom we have um, a running feed of messages of things that happen so we can pay attention to things that are happening down there. So yeah, uh, that's basically oops, that's basically how it works. I can move around. So yeah, I picked up those six gold pieces uh, doing that. One thing I will be doing a lot in this game is auto-exploring by pressing the O button. So let me press that right now, and that is definitely the most efficient way to play this game. And it's part of the reason this game is so fun and addictive, is it takes a lot of the grindiness out of a game like NetHack, and modern conveniences with all the fun. So here's a goblin, a hobgoblin in fact, it's our first enemy, and you can see it's asleep, it's, it's outlined in blue there, so that means that um, it's asleep. So let's see if we can sneak up on it and stab it with a dagger, because that's what we do as an enchanter, we stab people with a dagger. He woke up, that's a shame, right as we got there. So what can we do about this? Well I think that probably I'm going to cast Corona on him. I apologize if there's some weird strobe light effects on uh, some of these screens, so just be prepared for that. And I'm sorry if you have any suggestions how to fix it. Like right now, I can look at my spells. I have Corona, so I can cast that. It outlines people in light, basically, and makes them easier to hit. So let me cast Corona on this guy. He barely resists, so I'll try again. He's outlined in light, so I should be able to stab him a little bit more easily. Stab, 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 dead. Great. I found a potion. Let's drink it. It's confusion, oh no. It's sort of a bad idea to just randomly drink potions, but I kind of like to do it anyway. I'm kind of bad like that. Oh, and that reminds me. Let's get our skills going. All right, we have to change our skills. Set our skills, rather, to, to make sure that they're distributed properly. So let's uh, go into manual mode and then allocate them as such. As a enchanter, we will need lots of stealth. We will need lots of hexes. Our spell casting, we will need, but we will keep that unfocused. Dodging, we need to not die. Throwing, we can turn off for now. That'll be good with a blowgun if we ever find one. Uh, short blades, we need a lot of. And that's kind of a lot of skills. A better player than I might say that's too many skills, but we're sort of good at all of them, so I think it's fine. And, uh, you know, I've done it before. So let's uh, go, by the way, and we'll start picking up needles, just in case we do find any uh, a blowgun anywhere. So let's keep going. Here, he woke up too. Alright, so outline and light. Stab, stab. Ooh, he's doing a lot of damage. Hit me with that club. Uh-oh. 
Can I get him? Should I just randomly quaff that potion? <laughs> Dangerous. Um, let's quaff the potion and see what happens. I'm in a bad spot here. Potion of agility. Alright, that'll help a little bit. Let's see if I can take him out. Severely wounded. Die. I killed him. Alright. That was a close call, alright? This game gets pretty dangerous, especially in the first couple levels. Alright, so... We don't want your stinking club, though. Two giant newts. Oh, a lot of newts. We're, we're backing off here. So, back off, back off. Hit him with light. Kill him. Good. And I could drink those corpses for blood, but I'm gonna stay thirsty-ish for a while, because I want the poison resistance. Oh, I didn't like. Alright, this is good. Lots of newts. Get me up to level 2 would be great. So many newts. What's the deal with this? Is that like a newt pond? Seems that way. Let's get this hallway. So many newts! If I die overwhelmed by newts, I'll be disappointed. Alright. So I didn't die to the newt pond. Thank heavens. Here's a cockroach. Get you, cockroach. Aha! And I've reached level 2. Very good. Because that means I have more health and more magic. And, most importantly, I can memorize this spell in Sorcel to Hibernation. Which is great, because it lets me put people to sleep. And that's going to be my bread and butter for a while now. Alright, let's try to use it against this goblin, for example. Hobble goblin. And Sorcel him. Yes, you can see he's outlined in blue now. He's asleep. And now he dies. Ha ha ha. Very nice. Alright, that's gonna be just just fantastic. Alright, yeah, see and sorcel him too. Sorcel the bat, and sorcel everybody, and I have no concerns with hunger or anything because I am a vampire. So who cares? Uh the snake resisted it once. And I failed to cast it again, but he's no threat. I'm good enough with my dagger that I can just poke him. He wakes up. That's a shame. But again, not concerned with these fellows. Uh, let's back away from him until I get... Alright, so now I'm thirsty. I can start considering drinking some of these things. Let's drink a couple of these potions. Feel better potion of curing. Potion of cure mutation uh, would have been better to have, I guess, but... Whatever. And source of these people. I ran out of mana. I should just run away. I'm just going to back off. Back off. Try to ensorcel them again in a second as soon as I get two mana. Nope, didn't work. Just kill him. Just die. <laughs> Alright, that was probably the dumb way to play, but you get impatient sometimes. Potion of heal wounds. It's good to know. I know, randomly quaffing potions is bad, but I, I get bored with that part of the game. I just want to know what it is. I identify potions scrolls need to get used to other things. Yep, die. Let's clear out this floor. Come on. Die. Die. What's that? A dagger. I'll take a spare dagger. We didn't miss any daggers, did we? Nah, nothing important. We want to find, like, a glowing dagger or something like that. Because that would be super duper cool. Alright, well, that's a good place to cut this first video, I think. I don't want to make these videos super duper long, so I'm going to try to make them, like, 10 minutes ish because I tried recording a few times before actually and each time I was thwarted because the video failed to record and I had to start over which is very frustrating so I'm gonna do my best to make these videos rather short so there you go cleared the first level at least it's a good start and you get a feel for the game it's super duper fun and I will see you next time